Hey there, welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I am so <laughs> pleased to be joined by one of the artists being going to be featured at the Community Nursing Services event. It's happening March 2nd through the 3rd. I have Don Price here with me. Hi. How are you, sir? Good morning. Good morning. It's so great to have you. Good. How was your drive up? It was beautiful, actually. And the uh, moon so was out, and it was, but it was still dark. It's actually bright this yeah, morning, it, a little bit more was, so. But that's gorgeous. going to change a lot next yeah, week. It, it, was, it was gorgeous, actually. <laughs> but you certainly have, have an eye for beautiful things and for details, because that's what you have brought with you here this morning. But first, before we get into this lovely art, share with me a little bit about your backstory and what first introduced you to this event. Well, this is, well it's a terrific event, uh -huh. and I've done it now for, I think, this is my fifth year. Wow. So it's, uh, it's been fun. We moved, uh, we lived in California, had an art gallery near Santa Barbara. And then we, uh, from there, we decided to raise our kids where my wife was from, which is Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, and so I started my galleries over there and we were there for 20 some years. Got the kids raised. They said, thank you, we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. And they all went west. Uh -huh. And so we decided that you're not leaving us in Michigan, so. <laughs> and. Uh, so we came to uh, Utah because mm -hmm. that's where the grandkids were. Oh, this this of makes course. perfect sense. I know. Right, where else would you go exactly. with that? So, well, that's yeah, so neat. Yeah, so now the kids are in Colorado, here, and in California. Well, we certainly are lucky to have you here, Thank being you. part of CNS. This event, it happens on March 2nd and 3rd, and it's to raise funds and awareness for a great cause. Tell me a little bit more about well, that. Well, it's a fantastic organization. Um, they provide uh, home care and hospice care in the valley here. Um, I have a sister-in-law who is actually a hospice nurse, mm. so I know what they have to deal with. Uh, it's, it's just a great outfit. And, Very good. And so I'm really pleased to be part of it. And as part of your contribution to the show, you are gonna have some of these great little, as you call them, gems on yeah. display. Tell me about your concept so here. So I'm an artiste. <laughs> <laughs> so I make these, uh, I'm making these are four inch blocks, uh -huh. and I make, and they're called Exploring Utah, and Little Gems. And uh, so each one is uh, like little, just representations of different, uh, different areas and different uh, weather conditions and just, just really fun. Well, you have a pretty broad range here. You have like a stormy one yeah. right here. Maybe I'll pull that one up front and then something like a little more bright and sunny here. I mean, take a look at the, yeah. the difference between those. Those are just Well, beautiful. the most beautiful place in the world is up in Alta in mm. the summertime mm. when the, the uh, fields are all in, in bloom. Is that what you got here? Yes. Oh, that's so, so great. And I was asking him, can, can you identify each individual little spot? And he's like, kind, mm, kind no, of, more, more or less. They're more just like an overview. impressions of places yes. I've been. Or, you know, be out in the desert. You know, like this would be out in the desert. Ooh, maybe. yeah, put that one up here. You that's know, neat. Like that. Yeah, just the variety here is so, yeah. so different. And you have some. Um, and the, as the, the aspens. Yeah, those uh, are really nice. We're gonna run out of room up here. I know. <laughs> like you have to see these; they're just so so cute and but, little. But uh, give me an idea of how you could actually display these. These are well, they're pretty versatile. Well, they're fun because they also have a little. You can you could actually hang it on the wall. Right, right. Like this, um, but they're they're fun. But one thing that another little idea, which I'll be showing at the uh, CNS show, is that we were up in the Alpine Loop, and I mm. saw these aspen trees that were had you know letters and stuff on it I thought there's an idea there so I made this little block like this mm-hmm a little I heart there a little heart but I made it blank and so then I actually can come back with a stamp and I oh, emboss it oh look at that so this is Don, that is so Don cool. plus Chris right there and so there I can emboss can it add in with the letters initials. And so I, I'll do that at the show so <laughs> Yeah. And I love how they come packaged. They're in the, they're yeah. It almost looks like a jewelry box, yeah, if is. you will. Yeah. It's kind so, of fun. So they will, you know, like these little ones will come in a box like this. Uh -huh. so, so like that, and then like that. Oh, how sweet. I love little things nice, like that. Nice little package. Oh, that's so great. Well, as an artist, tell me, I mean, of clearly. These will come in a little bit bigger A box, little bit bigger ones. Like this. So nice. Like that. The little gems. What a cool concept. Wow. Well, <laughs> as an artist, Don, share with me a little bit about what the creative process is like for you. Because you, you have captured so much life in this four by four inch square yeah. <laughs> right well, here. One how thing you, I had to learn that? early on running an art gallery and having four kids is that you got to learn to paint fast. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you come home at night and you go to soccer and then you go to piano practice. And then after the kids in bed, then you can paint. Mm -hmm. and so it had to be paint that would dry fast, and I had to learn to paint fast, and these are all acrylics. 
Oh, so. are they now? So once okay, they, yeah. So they will dry within within the hour, wow. and um, so they can be hung the next day. Oh, that's just yeah. so incredible. One thing that I found so so fascinating about the the artistic process, either watching people do it or, or attempting at it myself years ago, but the the colors that you are able to bring to life on a canvas or a surface, you, they're I feel like they're from what my understanding is that there are colors that you didn't realize were there. It's like, oh, it's a blue sky, but no, there's a lot more in Actually, that. Actually, what I the find blue. is, you know, we have incredible blue skies here in uh -huh. Utah, and blue is one of the hardest things for me to hit as is far it? as the sky color. Now, I mean, once you throw clouds in it, it uh -huh. makes it easier, but to get the right blue, um, like this, whole block was actually painted a kind of a rosy red first. Was it? So you okay. can see the reds coming through mm. in the background. And uh, so it gives it, it kind of unifies the whole painting mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. way. But th you know, this is, these are really fun. That's great. Um, so I enjoy that. So do you enjoy the outdoors particularly? Is yeah, that we, where you my see wife and I, we love hiking. Oh, you do? Uh, we're not skiers. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. You, you, you still appreciate I it, you my clearly. <laughs> we'll give you a pass okay. for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, but boy, we love it when the summer comes and, uh, right. and going up in the trails. And, and so I, I tend to take my, my camera with me, and I'm always taking reference material. And, uh -huh. uh, but I do all my painting in the studio because acrylic paints don't do well sure. uh, outside because they dry too fast. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. what a what a cool setup you have here, and there are going to be forty three artists <laughs> featured. Yeah. That's it, a lot. And it's you're, a lot. Well, well, one at forty three still. That, I know. That's pretty great. It's a it's a big deal, wow. and this year it's going to be an even bigger deal. Uh huh. Because um, we are in the uh, at the Salt Palace at the Grand Ballroom now this mm -hmm. year. So. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah, Very good. So and then we also have tw about twenty five restaurants that'll be featured as well, so you can grab a little bit of soup. Or I, last time they had like soup, cookies soup, on your way soup, out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go back for more. And I it's, love the chefs there, and you probably experienced this too. They're like, "Oh, have another one. Have another one." And I'm like, "Oh, you guys are my best friends now." Well, it's great it really being part nice. of the show because yeah. <laughs> we get to we get to sample, sample, sample. <laughs> <laughs> that's so yeah. great. Well, where can we find more of your work? is happening, of course, March 2nd through 3rd, but are you online? Where can we typically yeah, find I, your work? I have a, my, of course, my website is prize.com, uh -huh. just P-R-Y-S, and it's very simple, um, just prize.com. And then I also have work showing at uh, Evergreen Gallery in Holiday and also at the Alpine um, Gallery very good. the South Temple. Well, Don, thank you so thank much. You very much. It has been a pleasure to have you here. You thank bet. you to, to your contribution to, to CNS for what you're doing for that. Yeah. And also, you guys, these are some really fun gift ideas, by the way. I'm <laughs> like, this, these are so cute for Valentine's Day, the little heart thing in the tree. Next year, <sighs> next year, guys, yeah. it'll work well. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Nice to have you here. You and also, thank you can you. go online and check out more at CNS to, to find out uh, the event, some of the, ven the vendors, as well as tickets as well. We'll be right back after this. Stay tuned for more. You're watching the Mountain Morning Show.